Don't you hate when you order a part from eBay and it arrives and it's defective? This is what you do before you install any parts for your TV. You gotta test them to make sure you're not gonna send a bad part. This is the buffer board that arrived for the Samsung and as we'll see, I didn't even get to install it. It's no good. I probably noticed that it's not even wrapped up in a uh, static sensitive b shipping bag. This is just wrapped up in bubble wrap and plastic, which is uh, not a good way to be shipping parts that can be damaged by static electricity. And when a board like this is not installed in a chassis, it is certainly susceptible to electrostatic discharge, that's for sure. Now I'm about to just to do a, a test with the ohmmeter and I'm going to let this run as one continuous shot so that uh, you know that I haven't edited this in any way and I haven't installed this uh, in the set and I'm not going to install it in the set and I'll show you that this board also has a, a damage, a, a, a shorted buffer chip and it is a different buffer chip than from the television so I'll show you the original board which is of course mounted back in the set. So I'm just going to let this play out in real time Just so you can see that uh, nothing has been touched. It was unwrapped, and uh, it hasn't. It's not going to leave the camera until I've tested it. And that way, we'll know for sure that uh, you know there's nothing. There's no funny business here. Uh oh. I do believe this new board is kind of short. This new board is shorted. And it's a different one than the original board. This is why I always test boards out. Now, of course, if you remember the original board, it was just that was down here. This is the one that was shorted. And this one here has got one of these other ICs that are that it would appear to be shorted. So okay. Now if I go and get the original board that I've since put back into the TV. So we'll pull the original board out so you guys can see the fault on the original board. Let me just disconnect it here. Here's the original board. Okay. And on this one, the IC that shorted is, it was on the fourth connector down. So here we go on this one. There's the short. Okay, it's on the fourth connector down on this one. And on the replacement board, it's on the third connector. So it's on this one. This is the problem when you buy boards off eBay, okay? They are completely untested and you're on the risk that you're, you're gonna get a bad one. And unfortunately, this is a bad one. So we're back to square one. I have to contact the uh, owner of this and let them know that the board that was shipped in 
it's also bad. So the seller's been contacted. Apparently, they're shipping a new board out. Once we get the new board in, I'll put it in and, well, hopefully I'll test it first, but hopefully that's going to fix it. But that's what your problem with eBay is. When you buy stuff off eBay, you don't know what you're getting. So this happens quite frequently, unfortunately.